Well, I hope you enjoyed that start to finish process. I wanted to keep this very simple in all its elegance. Um, this is an actual photo. A friend of mine, her daughter, got married this summer. And when I saw that photo pop up on Facebook, there were a few photos that popped up on Facebook. Um, and I didn't know which one I was going to use till I received my design team package. And in that package was a new release from Renee's Beautiful Board product. And it was this beautiful frame, simply titled Tree Frame. It's the medium size, a little over a 4x5. Um, and when I saw that, I knew immediately the photo was going to use because she is standing in front of a beautiful tree and those two just went together like peanut butter and jelly that was it and she is just so gorgeous you know I don't know side note what line I was standing in I often joke you know when we're all in heaven when we're waiting to be born I think I was chatting and I was in the wrong line because I definitely did not get in the tall line uh, I got I found the short line I definitely did not get in the your metabolism works really good skinny line. Um, I got in the look at a piece of cake and gain 10 pounds line. Um, there's a few other lines like open mouth insert foot line. Um, <laughs> definitely not the beautiful line. Um, just gorgeous. Just stinking gorgeous. And uh, so I talked to the mom. I like a few months back. I'm like, what's your colors? And she's like, I'm like, don't ask, ask any questions. And she's like, okay, gray stones and naturals. And she's kind of laughing. And I left it at that. And I didn't say a word late about it because I'm thinking, you know, give it enough time, she'll totally forget all about it. So I went with the paper line of that Momenta cardstock that I showed you. I had gotten that at um, Tuesday morning. And then the uh, one of the newer releases from Prima, the Zella Teal. This is the 6x6 six six, uh, paper pad, and I, Renee carries this in her shop. The flowers I used in it also came in that collection, which is right here. This is neat because I love these style of roses, and then it came with these little uh, tiny roses as well. Uh, and I love this line not only because of like the teals, but also the grays and like the cream color, which perfectly suited uh, the color palette that I needed to go for on this project. So, um, bunch of Zella Teal product in Renee's store. So, I had got the board you saw at the beginning. It was purchased from Dollar Tree, and I, you know, took out the little nails and yarn art in the middle, painted it with uh, Prima bl Heavy Black Gesso. Then I cut all my papers down because it looked like wood slats. You know, so I cut my papers down to just kind of fit each individual wood slat except for the back. It's one big piece, of course. I sewed all the edges, distressed all the edges, and did a little bit of uh, coloring with some this real pretty gray uh, chalk ink that I have. And uh, then I laid down some stamping. I wanted to do some stamping. I was going through my stuff, and I found this beautiful stamp in my stash. Completely forgot that I had by Heidi Swap, a couple years old. And I'm like... Perfect. So I, you know, used uh, Versamark ink and I laid it down exactly where I want it with some Recollections white embossing powder, and I got that beautiful, just romantic script kind of up in those corners. Just worked perfectly. Just a tiny bit down in here. Beautiful. Got that in there. Laid the frame down, and then I laid down this beautiful uh, Prima Memory Hardware. Uh, frame. Renee carries the Frank Garcia memory hardware frame. It frames, uh, plural, in her shop. This one is the Chantilly Royal. It's just one of my very favorite frames. It's just gorgeous. So I laid that down, and then I kind of layered some stuff in around it. I have some old, like, uh, Prima metal claw cans, so I kind of faced up one this way and one this way down at the bottom. And I placed in this uh, Tim Holtz piece from my stash. This is just watch cameos. I think I got them at Michael's. Uh, place this is a place this piece down. It's just uh, I think it's door signs. Prima shabby chic treasures uh, old release. Place that down in there. It says bliss. This also is like a Prima uh, release. It's a little lamp post old release. Um, 
laid down the photo which you could see I also sewed on I turned it into a black and white the photo wasn't originally black and white um, I turned it to black and white and kind of played a little bit with the shadows just to kind of give it just a beautiful uh, hue there just real real beautiful see how just beautiful it goes with that frame thank you Renee for sending that along um, layered the oh and then once I got that photo down then I layered in this is a new release from uh, the beautiful board product line and this is the beehive elements and that's what these are right here and they come with all the you know little pieces in there I love this because it's just so um, dainty I love the little beehive and you could even just leave a few of them in like that for texture love this for a back piece and they came in two pieces that size so I just left it it was perfect for my project so I layered that down then I layered the uh, the prima flowers on top this is just a flower from my collection um, a recollections flower I believe this is just a flower from my stash um, I layered inside the flower one another uh, beautiful board these are the beautiful board bits and these are the scroll hearts you can see it there but I'll show you one up close here you get a little jar of these beautiful scroll hearts I love to take these beautiful bits because there's beautiful board pieces which are you know large pieces and then there's beautiful bits that come in jars and I love to take the beautiful bits and layer them into my flowers then I've also got this other piece here um, this is also a beautiful board piece this is called elegant accents it comes in a three piece set and this was a piece left over from my last project I had had already heat embossed it I did the same with this, the Versamark, that white embossing powder, had already heat embossed it, but I didn't need the whole piece because I cut it in half, so I saved it. Knew I would use it, um, and I tucked it in there. This is the set of the Elegant Accents. This is what you get in your set, these three pieces. Really fun because you can, of course, cut them up and, and make them. The one I used was this piece, and I used the small these are the larger pieces and I just cut it you know and then did the embossing there so there's that and then I wanted to make it this look like um, of course she's standing in front of tree stuff but I wanted to make it look like she was you know kind of strolling down memory lane she had just passed through the garden gates walking down the lane the beautiful bride so that's where I've got these are some old prima uh, metal shabby chic treasures pieces so I layered them in there to kind of symbolize the gates and then this is an old piece uh, from my stash at shabby chic treasures door locks you can't even find them anymore I'm on my last package this is what the package looks like you have these different door locks I wish they would come back out with these Anyway, so I've got layered that in there like, you know, the lock to the gate, of course. Um, and then these cute little butterflies. These are from Renee's shop here and layered one down here. These are the magical miniature butterflies and you get a bunch of them in a set. Let me grab them here. I've got a couple sets here. I think you get like 10 in a set. Um, they are mini little butterflies. Let me get a different one here. This is like a tiny treasures and these are the minis and then there's two sizes of the minis see and these are the tiny treasures so quite a bit smaller I love them magical miniatures and they're double sided aren't these great and these are I don't know if you know the story I said it a long time ago these are all um, Renee's creations these butterflies she if I am trying to remember the story correctly I know that she uh, draws them out she hand water colors them and then uh, you know uploads it scans it does whatever she needs to do and then die cuts them back out so these are Renee's original hand painted little ma magical miniature butterflies and then so that's one set and then I have this other set too let me just show you there's there's a few sets on there but this is the other one I used this a while back love isn't that gorgeous look at those and I love that you can see you know obviously both sides if you love to layer like I do you know you flip the piece back and forth you can see the back side all nice and finished so those are the magical miniatures and these are called spun sugar okay 
Um, and then I used another um, Rene Bouquet's piece right here. This is the Dream Key. It's in silver. That's a set of four, I believe, Rene Bouquet's metal Dream Keys. And I just glued that right in the center of the flower there. And then down here, this is just a word, word, wood word from my stash. It's a Heidi Swap wood word. And it says happy. Um, and so kind of titled here, you know, you've got bliss, dream, happy. Because, you know, it's her wedding day and she's happy. And then the last thing I did is you saw me take a Prima 3D Matte Gel and some tiny micro beads. These micro beads are a new color that Renee is carrying. And these are in the teal go perfectly of course with the Zella teal collection but look at the beautiful shade of teal and I just kind of I had those little miniature spoons in my stash and it was perfect on such a little project I was like scooping scooping them up like a little sugar spoon and then you know putting them down onto my project worked perfectly um, and so I put that in just various places right up in here. I just wanted a little bit, a little bit of color, not too much because I was trying to kind of keep it in that uh, kind of grays and stones naturals color palette. So that is what I ended up with. Just a nice quick project, really pretty I think it turned out. I really hope she likes it. Um, so that's the end of this project. So those of you that, you know, are on a time limit, you've seen my project. I thank you for sharing your time with me. And those of you that want to stick around for just a couple more minutes, I want to show you a couple more new releases. There are some new releases that Renee has got in her shop, Christmassy, winter snowflakes, just a bunch of different kind of, you know, beautiful elements for Christmas. I can't wait to get them in my hands. Uh, anyway, haven't seen them yet in person. I have some other little products here that are new releases. These, beautiful butterfly with a border here. These are the butterfly corners. You get two in a set. Of course, everything, as you remember, is double-sided. I tend to, as you notice on my pieces, everything I'm scrapbooking, I like to leave them in their natural color unless I just do a little white embossing because whenever I would use other chipboard and it was that raw kind of brown chipboard I always just painted it white I would try colors and decided I just never really liked it I just like my chipboard in white um, and so the um, process that you know Renee has done with these chipboard gives you that beautiful just kind of warm white color and I love it but if you want to do mixed media on these they take mixed media perfectly wonderful. Your sprays and your um, mixed media, you know, like matte gel and that kind of stuff, they take it just perfectly fine. But I love to leave them in their natural state. And I love that they're double-sided because it gives me the option, of course, of putting them down anywhere on my project that I need to. So these are the butterfly corners. This is the larger. Um, these, let me pull these out, they're the cutest, cutest little birds. They're called Tweet Little Birds. These are some different sizes, aren't those adorable? Love those. Double-sided, of course. Those are so cute, and if these are a little bit too big for you, you can get them in the beautiful bits. Let me bring those out for you. These are so cute. You get a little jar of these ones. Look how freaking tiny these are. Perfect for like tucking in like flowers and stuff. Like you saw me tuck that hard in my project. These are bigger so you can see the size different. They're beautiful bits. They're just little bits. I love these. Tweet little birds. Like instead of sweet little birds, they're tweet little birds. <laughs> Renee came up with a great name for that. Um, and then the last one I am super excited about waiting for the right project. cherry blossom branches. You heard me right. Cherry blossom branches. There's three that come in a set. Here. Here. Cherry blossom. And here. These are like different sizes of them, but you get these three different designs in a set. Aren't these cool? I love the look of these cherry blossoms. They are going to look so cool coming out of a frame. 
just way cool. I'm going to turn this over for a minute. There you go. So you can see them a little bit better off my hand. Okay. I just love these. They're so dainty, so beautiful. You can do so much with them. So this is another new release. But be sure, that's all I'm going to kind of share with you for now. Be sure to go and check out Renee's uh, site. She's got Etsy, but she's also got the dot .com. Um, the links will be all down below so you can check out all the new product and maybe get your hands on those new snowflakes. And these snowflakes are exquisite designs. They're not just the normal snowflakes. That's all I can say about it. And she's got some that snowflakes that they layer. So freaking cool. Anyway, go check out all the new designs. Um, like I said, links down below for you. I thank you for sharing your time with me. And I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.